Hey, thank you, Sue. Well, from experienced bird watchers to families wanting to get in on the fun, a rare sighting of some colorful feathers has people flocking to Great Falls. Lauren DeMarco shows us why the male painted bunting is getting so much attention. One girl just walked past me and said, I saw the fancy bird. This colorful little creature, a tiny bright spot for many people on this first Monday of the new year. And even if you didn't see it, coming out here, you are still treated to plenty of gorgeous views. I saw the bird about 15 minutes ago. And what area? And just, uh, just below lock 17. It's the question everyone is asking on the Maryland side of Great Falls along the CNO Canal. People gathering by the dozens, cameras and binoculars in hand, hoping to catch a glimpse of the painted bunting, extremely rare this far north. It's a beautiful bird to begin with. Small, it's about the size of a sparrow. With, you know, it's green and red and blue. Normally, you see these birds down around Florida. There's a small population around Savannah and Georgia. And so it's really unusual to see it up here. And that's why people are freaking out about it here. These photos, courtesy of Andrew Ratliff, who was out all day and spotted the painted bunting twice. We birders call a bird we haven't seen a lifer. So when we see it, we call it a lifer. And in this case, it's sort of a lifer of a lifetime. He says it's an exciting moment in what has already been a great year for birding. There seems to be a number of birds that are that are in the area that don't belong here. They're western and southern birds that are not typically found in the area. We've had trumpeter swans up in Laurel, Maryland. And then recently a rufous hummingbird has made home at uh, Green Spring Garden Park in Annandale. But what has this little guy so far north when he should be flying south for the winter? Some believe it may be climate change. The National Park Service says they can't know for sure. But because of the pandemic, people are certainly paying closer attention to nature. Those of us that have gotten into this are out more. Uh, and so we're seeing more. Reports on popular birding sites and in the Washington Post have brought the crowds and regulars to the park are happy to see the extra visitors. A very diverse crowd and we've really loved uh, sharing this, uh, this uh, national treasure with everyone. You will not be disappointed if you don't see it because there's so many other wonderful sites to see. It is certainly beautiful. Never a disappointment coming out here. Now, my photographer and I, we looked, we did not see it ourselves, but we need to thank all the people who shared their photos and plenty of people who said that they did not see it are planning to come back tomorrow. So a lot of people interested in this. Back to you. I mean, that is extraordinary. That's a It almost bird. looks fake. Are you but it's real. Something? No, no, I know it's real. I've been looking it up. I've learned all about different buntings. Yes. That the male, to protect his nest, he sits up high, camouflaged in the trees, and he sings. To keep it. Mm -hmm. And they have about, they lay anywhere from three to four eggs. And the, the eggs, surprisingly, though, what, like, not what, colorful. My, my God, you're like the bunting expert here now. Mm -hmm. And they taste like chicken, like you said during commercial. Yeah, I did not say that. <laughs> Maybe I'm I kidding. Maybe I'm I did. kidding. We do not eat bunting. But they are very, very pretty. pretty.